This video is made possible by the EA Creator Network. Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So yesterday two new kits came out but unfortunately I had a migraine the whole day so recording it was very difficult and I decided to scrap it and do it when my head is not throbbing in pain. So I know this is late but for anybody who is still interested in seeing what the kits have in store I'm here to show you. We got the poolside splash cast kit and also the Modern Luxe Build Kit, which was in collaboration with Zarela, who is also a content creator. So that's the kit that I've been looking forward to the most. Now I wanna say that I feel like the promo photos for the Poolside Splash Kit really didn't do the kit justice because I'll tell you, when I saw that, it made me not like the kit. It was not on my radar whatsoever. But as soon as I went into cast and then I had my model sim here and looked up the stuff, it made me like it a bit more. Now, is this a kit that everybody's going to want to want? Probably not because, you know, it's pool related stuff, uh, which I have seen some people say that they would have preferred for it to be a build kit. And honestly, I do kind of agree with that because I feel like we don't really have much pool decorative stuff. And it would have been awesome if we had like a functional diving board or even like a functional slide or something like that. I would have like that a little bit more so like i said i'm more pleasantly surprised by this kit but yeah these again these are the accessories we have two pairs of sunglasses and two necklaces so i do really like the necklaces because if you guys have seen some of my sims especially jody from my whimsy stories she had a two-tiered necklace like this um minus the pendant that i just really loved so there's that and then we have this one that has the charms on it. The one thing I don't like is that this one doesn't have a gold swatch on it. Instead, it's silver and gold. I don't know. It's just a little minor picky thing, but these are them. So now moving on to the tops, we have a couple bikini tops. So there's this one that's a halter top. The next thing we have is this like cover up for your bikini, I guess. You can just throw it over. This swatch really threw me for a loop because I did not expect a swatch full of gnomes on it, which is interesting. And then we have this twisty bandeau top. It also twists in the back, which is kind of hard to see because of her hair. But I think this is one of my favorite tops out of the ones that we've gotten. I do also like that the swatches do pretty much match throughout the entirety of the kit. Um, so you can very much mix and match. We have this crop top, which I guess would be kind of like a, what is it called? A tankini. It's a little bit higher up than a tankini. Usually, I feel like those usually are a little bit longer for the most part. But I mean, I guess all tankinis are different, um, but you can combine this with the bottoms. Like this one, for example, it's a little bit more high-waisted. We do have one last top up here, which this one I'm kind of iffy on. I just personally don't see as a swimwear top, but I can definitely see this being like styled in a more fashiony way, especially with like the black. I could definitely picture that. I'd want to try it myself and see what I can come up with, but you know. Now moving on to the bottoms. I honestly want to say that these are an improvement from past bathing suits. I'll show you guys a comparison to base game and even Island Living, which I thought Island Living was a little bit more high-waisted than... I thought these are just more flattering I feel like on the body as opposed to the other ones so for example these are some base game ones which are very much more low rise than the ones that we got with this kit so yeah I mean again there's also a lot of custom content bathing suits like for example these um, that are a lot more flattering which is why I typically use custom content bathing suits over in-game because it's just, well, I don't like it, so. <laughs> but I think that the kit improved upon that. We have some board shorts. Now these are a lot more flattering on the feminine frame than I would have expected because sometimes, again, things just don't work well on the feminine frame, but they're not too bad. We have these bottoms that have a little cutout. Again, like I showed earlier, we have these high-waisted uh, bottoms. Then we have these short shorts. I like these because I can definitely see myself using these for athletic wear. And then this skirt was a pleasant surprise to me because I don't even remember seeing this anywhere. I think it's really cute. I like how it cinches in on one side. 
And then for full body, we have this, which I'm not the biggest fan of, mainly because I just don't see my Sims wearing pool floaties like that, especially my adult Sims at all. So yeah, I'm not a big fan of this piece. I don't know if there's a specific name for this type of a bathing suit, but I think it's actually quite cute. I love the ribbing detail on it. This one I remember seeing in the promo, but it didn't really stand out very much to me. I just was like, meh about it. But once I saw it on my sim, I thought it looked a lot nicer. Then we have another one piece. And this one in particular, I can just picture this sim laying out on a lounge chair with their drink, sunglasses on, sun hat, just like kind of, you would wear this bathing suit, but you wouldn't go swimming in it. You know, you're just there to show it off basically. And then this, I actually quite like. I didn't think I was going to initially, especially, like I said, from the promo pictures, just did not look that good. Maybe it was the color, I don't know. But I do quite like this, and I honestly really like the bathing suit underneath, which I kind of wish was separated because I don't think it looks that bad, honestly. Like, at the bottom is definitely very unique compared to, like, this, for example, like it's more of a simple bottom. For other accessories, we have a bracelet or like a wristband. And then we also got some rainbow French tip nails, which you know aren't necessarily my cup of tea. And then lastly, shoes, which are kind of simple. This one comes with an anklet, but they're like a clear type of style. And we have these chunkier sandals, which are okay. I have better custom content ones personally, but that is pretty much it for the feminine frame. So now moving on to the mask. All right, so we have two tops here and this one is yet again, another open top. We just got one not too long ago with the, I think, Symptomates collection, I wanna say, or kit, whatever it's called. But yeah, we have like a couple open tops now in the game, so. And then this, Muscle tee, I quite actually like because we did get one with spa day. It looks a lot nicer than that one in particular, which I'll show you guys a comparison. So here's the muscle tee from spa day. It looks a lot different. I do think, I mean, no matter what they have improved in cast, like that's just obvious, but yeah, I do like this one. And then for full body, the floaty looked just like the femme frame. For bottoms, we got a Speedo. I don't think we saw this one for the feminine, right? This is different, I think. And then these are the swim trunks that we saw in the feminine frame as well. And these we also saw already. And then lastly, kids also did get an outfit, which I didn't even expect, honestly. I, can, I definitely like the floaty look better for kids as opposed to my adult sims. I think it'd be really cute to have like your family matching swimwear. Unfortunately, there's nothing for toddlers or infants, which would have been a kind of a cute little thing, but I went ahead and quickly compiled a little lookbook of some of the looks. I could definitely come up with more, but I have five slots here. This is outfit number two, three. I really like this combo together. And then this, I actually don't mind this top when it's like put together like this. Uh, I think it looks quite good, actually. I think the matching swatches really saves it here. And then lastly, I felt like this could be a sleepwear fit or even throw some sneakers on and it could be a workout outfit as well. All right, well, that is it for the cast kit. Personally, for me, this doesn't feel like a necessity kit for me, uh, mainly because I do have a lot of variety and custom content for swimwear. Unfortunately, console doesn't have that luxury, so I can see why some of the console players might pick this kit up, or if you just don't use CC in general. But that is up for you to decide. I'm just here to show you guys what these kits have in store. So now moving on to the modern Lux kit. So starting off with wallpaper, we have one wallpaper that comes in many variety of colors. And then we have a flooring, which this was supposed to be intended for ceiling tiles, which I'm actually gonna check out in just a second just to see what that looks like. I will be honest, I do have a very hard time always putting the ceiling tiles up, but, oh, that actually does look quite nice. I wonder if I matched it to the wall color, if that would look cool or not. Okay, maybe that's too much gray. <laughs> Now moving on to the 
actual buy item. So we have this bed, which I think is so pretty. I just love the, I think it's, what is it, tufted or upholstered? I don't actually know what the name of this is, but I just love the way that this looks and even the detail of like the comforter, like at the bottom, I think it looks so nice. This feels like a CC bed, I'm not gonna lie. I quite like this like mauve pink. So we also have this chair. And then this chair goes with the vanity that comes with this kit, which by the way, let me just pull her up. Look at how stunning this vanity is. This is literally the best vanity in the game at this point. Like actually gorgeous. The other ones? Not a fan of, but this I can actually see my Sims using. I'm so gonna put this in Emika's little closet now because this, so cute. Like, look at that. I'm sorry, hello? We also have a matching nightstand that goes along with this. And then on top of that, we can add a little lamp. We also have a nice little glass shelf as well which I'm actually not certain if we have glass shelves already in this game. Do we? I don't even know. We have this little sign as well. A cute little plant. I actually really like this planter. I can definitely see myself using this quite a lot. And then of course, this is called the moment. There's some more paintings and these are so stunning. Like this one I think is probably one of my favorites. I think it's so gorgeous. We have this guy, some shoes. This one's really pretty too. I don't know why this one just, I think of Ariel, like the new Little Mermaid movie. I haven't even seen that yet, which I need to. Just got a perfume bottle. And then this one was a surprise because I didn't even see other swatches of this one. I think it's the only one. Oh. And we have a leaning mirror, which if you guys have seen some of my builds, you know that I really like the jungle adventure leaning mirror. So I'm really excited to have another one in the game. Oh, how can I forget? These curtains, officially the best curtains in the game as well. You also have a little rod. So if you wanted to make like a longer window or if you have a longer window, you can stretch it along more so we did have a kit in the past that had something similar come out as well uh, i think it was the one that we were able to get for free when sims 4 went free uh what was it called deluxe desert or something like that i don't remember but these curtains are so nice and these come in two different sizes although i did notice one thing is that if you have the really high windows um it does end up looking awkward because if you have the window a lot higher, it doesn't go all the way to the floor. I never even use the second wall high. I'm always on the first one, so that doesn't bother me personally. Up next is this bust, which sort of has a marble style to it. Um, oh my gosh, and these, the pillows? Let's talk about these pillows for a second. I love that you can just go ahead and plop it onto a chair or a couch. I don't know if this is the first like proper decorative pillow that we have in the game. I know that the little campers kit came with one, but it's like it lays flat on the ground, which I think with tool mod, you could go ahead and adjust that. But some people can't use tool mod or tool mod can be very difficult to use. So I like that we have one that's like sitting upright. You can even decorate some beds a little bit more. We also have the baddie bag, which I think is really awesome. But this one has like lipsticks and like a wallet, I think it is. Oh, and this rug. I like that it's quite big and it has like this abstract design to it. What else do we have? Oh yeah, the light. Look at how cool that is. That looks so cute. I think this might be my favorite build kit now. Straight up. And I don't really use the build kits that much, I feel like. So this piece is very unique because it is an art frame TV. I think this is such an awesome idea. I know that people do this in real life as well, where they put a frame around the TV to make the space look more put together. So I think this is such a cool concept that was included and you have different variety of paintings here. And I'll show you guys it functioning in just a minute when I get my sim in here. You can literally just put this above like a dresser, for example, like this and make it look like it's just a simple piece of art on the wall. But surprise, 
it also works the TV. And then this vintage record player, which I literally tweeted about when we had the Book Nook kit come out because I was like, it would have been so cool to have this like be featured in there. And Zarela gave it to us in this kit and it functions as well. It's not just decorative, which I like. And lastly, I believe is this bookcase. I like how much clutter's on it. So it's already like a filled up case as well. This kit makes me want to actually like go and build an apartment right now. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't renovated an apartment in so long. I can't even remember last time. See, and it works. It's literally a freaking frame. And you can turn it off and it's back to a picture. And then this little record player, you can turn this on, do some classical music. And it just spins. That's so cool. All right, well, that is all I have for this kit overview. Let me know what you think about them in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon. Bye, guys.